Urban Māori leader John Tamihere says Auckland Council's development arm is corrupt, arrogant and shutting poor people out of housing and the Mayor is letting them. And the former Labour MP thinks he might be able to do better, admitting he's considering running for the top job after trading jibes with Mayor Phil Goff at a feisty council meeting today. Mr Goff has in turn compared Mr Tamihere to, to Donald Trump and says he won't be losing sleep if he enters the race. Rowan Quinn reports. Dancers dressed as flame-coloured Chinese lions opened the meeting, setting the scene for the fiery exchange to come. John Tamihiri landed the first hit, accusing the council's development arm, Panuku, of breaching the Human Rights Act by capping the amount of social housing it allows. And he says when his Waipareira Trust tried to tell them about the breach, they didn't want to know. The answer from this arrogant outfit is, get lost. John Tamahiri said during the meeting that by ignoring the human rights breach, Panuku is acting corruptly. That prompted Mr Goff to interrupt. I, I, I think we, I think we should be careful Mr. here not to <coughs> accuse officials that I think every member around this table would accept as having integrity of being corrupt. I think that's inappropriate. And I think you should withdraw that or produce evidence for your statement. Oh, no, I won't be withdrawing it, Mr Mayor. OK. Well, I, no, 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 because it's actually a value judgment that you should make. Yeah, well, I, I just want to separate myself and other councillors may wish to do likewise. Mr Tamahiri is the CEO of the Waipareira Trust and the clash with Panuku has come as the Trust tries to build a development at Papatoitoi that he says should have a big percentage of social housing. He says the Council and Mr Goff have lost control of the agency, which though owned by the Council is run at arm's length. Councillor Penny Hulse was having none of those claims and says the Council ultimately wants the same as the Waipareira Trust. Why are we arguing with each other on some sort of trumped up piece of legal nonsense when we should actually be sitting around the table saying how do we make this work in a way that is going to keep us out of the courts, spend money on actually getting housing built and getting our babies out of living in cars. So is Mr Tamahiri positioning himself for a tilt at the mayoralty in 12 months time? Speaking to reporters afterwards, the former Labour MP says he hasn't decided for sure, but he'll have to stand up if the council doesn't change the culture at Panuku. And he says he'd have no qualms running against his old Labour colleague. Oh, so sad, too bad for Phil. After the meeting, Mr Goff was similarly dismissive, saying Mr Tamahiri was just one of a dozen people who could throw their hat in the ring for the top job. And he had a political comparison to make. I don't think any of us like that form of Trumpism where allegations are made but never backed up by any evidence. Mr Goff says Mr Tamahiri's dispute with Panuku is ultimately a commercial one because the Waipareira Trust is a developer. Mr Tamahiri says if the council doesn't sort out the social housing cap, the trust will take them to court for breaching the Human Rights Act. Itamaki Makoto, more checkpoint, Koro and Quinn DNA.